Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your D-Link router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. the other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a login and password. Usually, it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, you need to change the default password for the router's admin panel. Now log in to the router's admin panel again using the new password.
Here, you can change the router interface language. I will keep the language as English. To start the setup process, go to the Click and Connect menu. Click Next. On the next page, select your internet provider. From the provider drop-down list, select your country and operator if you are going to configure a 3G network connection, or leave the manual value if you are going to configure a WAN connection of another type or want to specify all settings for your 3G WAN connection manually. Click Next. On the next page, select Connection Type. You can find it in the contract with your internet provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, choose this one. It's the most common option. Click Next. Enter the connection name. This is not your Wi-Fi network name, so you can leave it unchanged. Click Next. On the next page, you can check the settings. In most cases, they should match mine except for the MAC address. Click the Apply button. Wait a few minutes while the router checks the settings. After the check, click Next. In the next step, you need to select an operating mode for the wireless network. Choose Access Point. Click Next. Then enter the name of the access point. This will be the name of your Wi-Fi network. Click Next. On the next page, you need to set a password for your Wi-Fi network. In Network Authentication, select Protected, and enter your password. The password must be at least 8 characters long. Click Next. Do the same for the 5G Wi-Fi access point if your router supports it. On the final page, you'll see all your Wi-Fi network details. Check them and save the settings. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If your ISP provides a service to IPTV, you can connect a set-top box directly to the router without using additional equipment. If you are not going to use IPTV, click Skip to Next. Click Apply to confirm the settings. Next, you need to reboot the router. To do this, Select Save and Reboot. Wait a few minutes for the router to fully restart. Now check if the internet is working. Just try to Google something. If there's no internet at this stage, call your internet provider. They will tell you your connection type and what other settings need to be configured. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.